Most truckies do the right thing on our roads. The ones you're about to see, don't. They pass the time filming social media videos while driving and often at speed. All for likes on social media. It's dangerous, disturbing and could end in carnage. The distraction's the biggest killer on our road today. Tonight, the reckless cabin antics that will send a chill down the spine of every driver. Road truckies who just won't put their phones down, all in the name of online fame. And they just want to show off to others, like, I drive this, I can drive this. But there's nothing funny about this latest TikTok craze where truck drivers thunder down major freeways at 100 kilometres per hour, hands and eyes on their mobiles while in control of potentially lethal machines. It's, it's dangerous. It's not entertainment. It's dangerous. Drivers pose for the camera, even holding their arms out the window to capture the view. I got play, I got play, I got play. From bumper to bumper peak hour traffic to suburban back streets and winding mountains, day or night, it looks like one big party for some drivers. This truckie has his phone in one hand, a cigarette in the other. In another video, there's a young girl in the passenger seat. Well, please love me now. So if you had to brake, how long would it take you to stop the truck? Oh, it takes like uh, more than 200 metres, yeah. So if you were on the phone, yeah. that could take you even longer? Yeah, No yeah, time yeah. for brake. You have no time for brake, it's a happen of accident. We showed the videos to CEO of the Victorian Transport Association, Peter Anderson. Deaths involving trucks are preventable. And that's what we've got to look for and that's what we've got to aim for. This TikTok truckie has been sacked from Wetton Halls after filming himself passing through a police RBT. Another driver from the same company was responsible for this pile-up on Melbourne's Monash Freeway. Well, my wife is out on the road with, her, with the kids every day and I don't want to know there's a truck driver out there who got his licence yesterday who doesn't really understand the dynamics and physics of the truck. You may not realise just how easy it is to jump behind the wheel of one of these big rigs. In fact, I can do it right now. All you need is to have held a driver's licence for two years, pay $1,000 and give up five hours of your time and then you'll be on your way. There's no requirement for anybody to have to have spent time behind the wheel of a truck. Since 2014, Peter has been lobbying to make getting a licence much tougher. He's now on the cusp of having the law overturned. We don't find that system adequate because it doesn't actually enforce you to drive a truck. It just means you have to hold a licence for 12 months and you can go up, go up a grade. They hold that and then 12 months later they may not have had any driving experience and then they come off and do a semi-licence. And then the next day they can go off and do a B-double licence and still have no real experience and be out there in the industry. So this is our... Peter has developed an extended training program in conjunction with Armstrong's driver education. Heavy combination is a prime mover... And a Craig Nicholson runs the academy and says he's appalled at the current requirements. It's like we're asking people like a, to jump into a plane with a pilot that's had two, you know, two to three hours of flying experience. To obtain a licence under the proposed new Victorian system, truckies would need to spend six days behind the wheel of a heavy rigid truck, then clock up 660 hours experience before training in a semi-trailer, then another 660 hours for a B-double. Heavy combination is a prime mover. We taught an A380 captain in this program, the eight-day program. He said to us that it takes more concentration than it is to fly the A380. Because with the A380, you've got to concentrate to get it up, you've got autopilot and you've got to concentrate to get it down. You cannot spend one second not being on the ball and driving safely. Peter says a major problem is international citizens on visas who claim they've driven trucks overseas, meaning they avoid doing any training here. 
We believe that an international driver has the same responsibilities as anybody that was born in Australia. So we expect their driving skills to be at the same level and if we can't make sure that they're at the same level, we don't want them on our roads. Trucks can cause mass death. Tragically, we saw that in Victoria recently with four police killed. What some of these people are doing is taking lives in their hands. And if something goes wrong, they've got blood on their own hands. 3AW broadcaster Neil Mitchell. I reckon the police should track them down, deal with them, take their licence away. I think their mates should dog them in. And I think TikTok should take this material off. They're encouraging this madness. Your single mistake can cause many lives. Those proposed changes to Victoria's licensing system could be in place by the end of the year.